My name is Tom Adams. I am the shooter camp manager for Guns on Pegs. Um, and today we've got our Roving Syndicate Day. We've got uh, 10 guns from all over the country who come to join us on a 200 bird pheasant and partridge day at Blowing Stone and Punch Bowl. So it's the Guns on Pegs Roving Syndicate Day, which we do four or five of these a year. And it's just a basic way to promote the Guns on Pegs Club, um, which is a fantastic club for the members um, of our 75,000 members. Blowing Stone and Punch Bowl is one of our um, clients with Charles Matthews, um, who's the proprietor and has the, the sporting rights. He uh, works very closely with us and we've sold a lot of days, uh, sold a lot of days through Guns and Pegs um, and we've had some fantastic reports from our members, hence why we've um, taken our own Roving Syndicate day here. Um, he, we've been hugely beneficial to Charles in selling his days for him um, and you know, vice versa, he's been great to have on the site for our members, so it's been a really good relationship we've had. My name is Charles Matthews. Uh, we're shooting on uh, the punch bowl and blowing stone shoot uh, with guns on pegs today. Uh, and we're actually standing in the valley called uh, the Coombs, which we call Star Wars for partridges because uh, they come at you in three different directions. As you can see from the valley behind, um, it, the, the topography is amazing. And then the way that the birds fly down the valley is quite exciting for the guns below. My role is uh, shoot captain. Uh, I organise the guns. I communicate with the keeper uh, second by second, really, just to make, make sure that all the guns are getting um, the same amount of shooting, and uh, we can pull and push the drives accordingly with the with the beaters, as the, they all have radios, and we just try and keep it very fair. We. Um we start the season on the 1st of September with small ball shooting, you know, 4, 10 and 28 ball shooting partages, and then we, we will get on to, to the end of the season where we don't really want the small balls, we want the, uh, the bigger guns because as we gradually, as we get towards November, the uh, pheasants are coming high and fast off these hills and uh, they're a little bit more challenging. But predominantly we are mixed pheasant and partridge, we have different pheasant drives and different partridge drives, but um, we can blend the two together and it, it seems to work. We like to be fair to everybody. and We like to, to make sure that everybody has their fair share of shooting. And we, our aim for the day is to make sure that everybody has a, an enjoyable day, a safe day, and everybody gets their fair share of shooting. So as you can see um, today, we've got a mixture of people from all walks of life, um, different, many different industries, um, and I think they all kind of get together on a level that you know they enjoy their sports and, and shooting is what they they're, they're passionate about. So I don't think there's any kind of boundaries or limits. Pheasant shooting is hugely important to the British countryside, um, just mainly because of the conservation work that is done by the keepers, by the shoot owners, and everyone else who works alongside it. Um, you know, the amount of bird species and f f flora and fauna that is found on a shoot compared to a non-managed shoot is, is vast. The work that goes in by the keepers is amazing. So Charles here puts on a fantastic day. Um, he is a fantastic host as well. Uh, we've had some great drives, been accommodated throughout, We're just enjoying Elevenses at the moment. Um, and as you can imagine, plenty of uh, fizz and good food flowing. Um, and it's got a great, great friendly feel. You know, there's the beaters um, all very welcoming and the, the keeper as well. Big smiles all around. So yeah, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day.